What's up guys, Gary McCready from HVAC know -It -All, and what we're going to do is get a review done of this Ambro Controls torch set. Very lightweight, very compact, good for light commercial and residential applications. Okay, so we're looking at getting a video done of this Ambro Controls torch set and I'd like to go over some facts of the torch set just before we get started. The total height of the kit is about 16 and a half inches in length. So we're going to weigh the kit with everything attached map gas, oxygen, and all the valving with the Testo scale. See how much it weighs. So we're coming in at around 11 and a half pounds. That is pretty lightweight, especially for residential jobs or light commercial jobs when you got to rope your torch set up the side of a building. It is less wear and tear on the body. So what this kit comes with is the carrying case. It comes with the valves and gauge assemblies. It comes with the hoses and it comes with the torch here, and there's two tips that come with it, a number three and a number five. So we got map gas in here, and we have oxygen, and the oxygen cylinders are disposable, and you would get your refills from the supplier that supplied you your Ambro Controls torch kit. Typically what you're gonna get out of each cylinder is about three hours of use of map gas and about 30 minutes of use of your oxygen. Now, if you're good with your torch, if you're good with getting your heat on and getting your heat off, you could do probably a few residential installs on one oxygen cylinder. So what I'm gonna do here is just blow some holes with the torch going through the copper pipe, just so you can see how much heat we're getting out of this. Now, I am using the number three tip here, and I'm gonna blow a couple of holes in this three quarter inch copper pipe. Now, the temperature of the flame is approximately 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit, very similar to brazing. So you could do some real nice braze joints with this torch. So you can see how I blew some holes through that copper pipe very, very easily. So now we're brazing up a joint and that is three quarter inch copper again, using the same tip and 15% silphos. And you can see that flame is putting some nice heat into that copper joint and that 15% silphos is flowing beautifully. So what the manufacturer is recommending for your settings is 60 PSI for oxygen and at seven PSI for your map gas. So what we're gonna do is turn the handle in the plus direction for the oxygen until we get to 60. And we're gonna turn the dial in the plus direction until we get to seven. We've already got some pressure in there, obviously because the needle has gone up a bit. And we're gonna go as close to seven as possible, but then what we do is we open up our valves and we dial it in. Once our valves are open on the torch handle, we dial that in. So there we have about seven there on the map gas. We open up our oxygen and dial that in to 60. Giving you a closer look there, we're at approximately seven PSI on the map gas and we are approximately 60 PSI on the oxygen. But then again, you guys can play with these settings yourselves and also figure out what is best for you to try to conserve that oxygen as well for the most part. Like I said, you get about three hours and about 30 minutes for the most part out of these tanks. So guys, keep in mind that brazing best practices should always be first and foremost, no matter what torch kit you're using. Using nitrogen here is really important because we don't want to accumulate carbon within the pipe and having clogging up systems, but even fire protection on the outside of the system by having a, a fire extinguisher handy or even using fire retardant blankets. It's very important stuff, guys. That's the video. Like, subscribe to the channel, guys. Lightweight, compact, residential, light commercial. You guys can check it out for yourselves. Happy HVAC.